When you're setting up a blight mechanic, the first thing to do is to look down and see what enemies you're facing. Enemies of a certain type are immune to damage of that type. So this one is clear cut. You really don't want lightning towers, and you shouldn't do physical either. This one is a great candidate for fire, cold, or minion. Here's a more complex example. This one is well rolled to avoid fire, fizz, or lightning. I would just go balls deep on cold towers and empowering towers near them. Generally, which towers are best? If you ask 10 blight runners, they'll probably give 10 different answers. So this part is my opinion based on my experience. Cold are one of the best because they give chill, especially if you aren't a cold build to begin with. Towers only activate if you and Cassia are near them. So I prefer to make multiple cold level 3 towers rather than a few freeze bolts in various spots. So when I run to a line of enemies, I have towers in a few spots to activate and slow them down with the chill. I also very often use level 3 lightning towers just to spread shock. Obviously, if I'm a shocking lightning build like a Stormbrand, I don't do this. I use the fire or the cold ones instead. On regular map lights, not blighted maps themselves, if I don't see very many lightning bolts at the bottom, I, I generally just throw a bunch of these in mindlessly. Shock is great. The Meteor Tower is generally considered the strongest tower by DPS, unless you see a lot of fire immune enemies at the bottom, of course. I almost never use scout towers personally, but the flying minions are very good if you're a minion build especially because they get all your minion buffs, so I did include it here. Now the support towers are very good at level 3 when placed next to your cold minion, meteor, or lightning towers. The imbuing tower is one I never use, but some people may find it useful when you're personally near it, it buffs yourself. Your own attack, cast, and movement speed get buffed. You'll have to decide your own strat based on your build, but I think these are the best towers right here. Don't forget about anointing your rings, they help your towers.